Hello, welcome to Nutanix in two minutes or less. I'm your host, Eric Wamsley. To manage your storage in Nutanix, from your main navigation, you need to go to the storage view. From here, there's three main views, overview, diagram, and table. The first one, overview, is just what it sounds like. It's a quick overview of what's going on in your environment such as how much free space you have, how many VMs on your data stores, your performance metrics, critical alerts, warnings, and then also events that have occurred with your storage. In the diagram view, you get a more graphical representation of details of your storage containers. The real workhorse, though, is the table view. From here, you can manage specific storage containers. So you can come in, select your storage container, and then look at your details, such as compression ratios and other storage efficiencies, or you can look at performance, alerts, usage metrics numbers, or you can even make changes by going to update and then select advanced settings. From here, you can change any and all settings of a storage container at any time. You also have the ability to look at your storage pool, which is a collection of all physical disks. It's not really managed, it just happens automatically. So when you add or remove nodes or add and remove storage devices, your storage pool is automatically modified. Volume group is a special feature inside of Nutanix, which allows you to present an iSCSI LUN to out to a VM, whether it's on or off Nutanix. You can also present this iSCSI LUN to physical systems. On the top right is where you would create items, such as creating new storage containers or creating volume groups. The last little neat trick is when you're in any of these views, there's actually a search field up here on the top right. And you can type in what you wanna search for and then press enter and it'll filter your results here. So if you only wanna see a specific storage container or volume group, you can find them more easily through this method.